All right, good morning, everybody. It is 9.15 on September 11th, a Friday. We have SPY opening up about a dollar down currently, and there are some key levels we want to watch, the first one being 194.25, which is the low of the day from yesterday, and key support. We also have some support above that. As you can see, this pre-market chart here, we have three higher lows that have formed. So the first, or the highest low back here is 194.73 after that we come down to 194.60 and after that we come down to 194.54 with that we have some highs that look a little double toppy this high was 195.47 and this high was 195.49 so we'll call 195.50 resistance and those levels are all support we will see if we get break above the 100 and 200 period moving average resistance on the five minute chart which is right around the level that these that has been resistance twice or we will see if we break to the downside and break these higher lows that have been forming there's some stocks I want to point out that we are going to be watching here Mobileye, Lulu and GoPro are all oversold after some big dumps we are going to be on the sideline carefully watching these plays for bounce opportunities not rushing into anything and when we do get in keeping our tight uh, tight stop losses Mobileye right now is looking to open up at the low of the day from yesterday. We have GoPro, which is also looking to gap down open. And Lulu is the only one who's set to open a little bit higher. So we'll keep our eye on all three and wait to see if we have any opportunity there. Another thing I want to point out from yesterday's webcam is I really liked how we had questions coming in that weren't related directly to stocks, but it switched it up a little bit, asking about different candlestick patterns and what it means and I like integrating that educational aspect into the webcam it's a lot easier for me to explain things talking as opposed to typing it out um, in the chat room so feel free whenever there's downtime in the webcam or if we're waiting for a play to develop or whatever to ask any questions you have even if it's not directly related to a stock or support or resistant levels or whatever so let's look at a couple other stocks here. We have Facebook, which was looking really bullish with the close over the 50-day moving average. We are now doing battle with the 100 period and 20 period moving average resistance. Oh, excuse me, you gotta get that yawn out. So we got the 200 period moving average resistance of 91.79 and the 100 period of 91.81. So those are key levels to get over. The pre-market high is back here at 91.97 so we are seeing some $92 resistance which was seen at the end of the day yesterday for Facebook we will see if we pull back from that level and we're going to be watching the 50-day moving average support let's check out Baba I beat you to it Richard so we've got 63.35 currently high this morning of 63.59 and a low of 63.16 so trading in the $63 range 100 period moving average resistance of 63.72, 200 of 63.88, and definitely Baba with the consolidation the past three days. We have smaller and smaller trading ranges, and we are going to be watching for a high or low of the day from yesterday to break, which will happen fairly quickly, I imagine, as it was such a tight trading range. Looking at the daily chart here for Baba, we had a high of 64.25 and a low of 63.34. So currently right at the low of the day, if we break that level, we have support at 62.53. So let's see what we've got for Tesla. Tesla fairly flat this morning, not a whole lot of movement. We have a high at 248 and a low of 247. So a fairly tight range for Tesla, or just $1 here pre-market pulling up the daily chart to see what kind of moving average support and resistance we have. 100 day moving average resistance is 250.05 and the 10 day moving average support is 246. So look for 246 for support. We have the low of the day yesterday at 245.33. So we'll see these tightening ranges uh, start to expand I imagine on these stocks. Let's see what we got for SUNY trading right around where it closed, we have key support. 11.04 was the low of the day yesterday. $11 is the psychological support that was pretty strong resistance, so I expect it to be some fairly strong support. If we break below $11 on SUNY, we are looking at 
1060, which is the 50% Fibonacci retracement, retracement level. Uh, Fibonacci is a good one to use on SUNY because there's a very clearly defined bottom and a very clearly defined top from the nine days of a bounce we had. And we will be watching, I, I would expect some consolidation here in the morning, some more downside, and then potentially for the bulls to step in. So we're going to be watching $11, 1060, and we have the 10 day moving average resistance and the middle Bollinger Band moving average resistance on the daily chart. Those levels are, excuse me, the 10 day moving average is still supported at 1124. So we'll see how the price opens up in relation to that. And the middle Bollinger Band resistance is 1179. You guys opening up above its 100 period moving average resistance. That support level is 832, currently trading at 836. Looking at the daily chart here. Looking like gas is having a nice morning as we can see the higher lows here, three higher lows and now a break of the higher high. A very bullish pre-market chart. We have the middle Bollinger Band, which knocked the price down at 877 resistance yesterday, and the 10-day moving average resistance is 839. The MACD is begging for a bullish cross on the daily chart, and until we see a close above the middle Bollinger Band resistance, it looks like you guys is going to trade around the $8 to upper 870 range. It's been stuck in this range for a couple weeks now, and we'll need to see a break of it. Looking at Netflix, strong 200 period moving average resistance has knocked the price down pre-market. We also have the 100 period above it, 99.17 and 99.27. 20 period moving average support of 99 even. Some nice higher lows here pre-market as well. Just need to break a higher high, which is 99.50 this morning. Pulling up the daily chart to check out the moving averages there. For Netflix, we've got the 100-day moving average support of 98.61. That's going to be a key one. We are only about 50 cents above that level right now. And resistance is the high of the day from yesterday of 185. And obviously, that psychological 100 level is going to be a key one to watch as well to see how the price reacts to it. Checking out VIX. Back testing resistance now of the 200 period moving average, which is 2508. Pulling up the daily chart to get a picture of what we are looking at for VIX. We have the middle Bollinger Band support. It's actually resistance. We closed just below it yesterday, 224.48. So we're currently below that level. And we also have the 10 day moving average resistance of 26.70. So a pretty clear declining consolidation pattern after a four day breakout back in mid August. And we are looking for the middle Bollinger Band to be turned back into support today. And we have a low on this pullback of 21.51. And UGT. We got seven minutes until the bell here. It seems like SPY is flirting back and forth with the 195 level. We'll see where it opens in relation to that. Nugget is down the past two candlesticks, setting lower lows here this morning. 100 period moving average resistance of 265. 20 period moving average resistance of 262. Pulling up the daily chart. We have very key support here of 261 was a low, 263. 265 and 264 so definitely the low 260s were key support and now that we are trading at 258 if we were to open up here it would be a very bearish development as this double bottom potential support would be looking very bearish so we have the 10 day moving average has knocked down the price the past two weeks that level is 298 and currently trading at 256 so I am not seeing much of any support down below 260 pulling up the weekly chart and yep it looks like after 260 it is no man's land in terms of support so nugget uh, definitely a bearish play at the moment let's see how spy is shaping up here with six minutes until the open 
trying to get over 20 period moving average resistance of 195.08 and first thing this morning we're going to be watching these three lows that set and the moving average resistance let's check out Apple hit the 100 period moving average resistance knocked back and could not maintain the 200 as support so setting new lows here this morning 200 period resistance is 1202 100 is 12 112.23 and we're going to look at the daily chart here because now that we are back under 112 we're going to need to look for moving average support on the daily chart we have the middle Bollinger Band of 111.42 and the 10 day moving average of 111.37 those two levels should be at about the same spot with the open So definitely a really tight consolidating range on Apple as well. A bullish close over the middle Bollinger Band. The bulls want to keep that support as long as possible. And a close over 113.29 would be the highest close since the market crash and a very bullish sign. But right now, SPY is looking like it's going to pull some of these stocks down with it. As we are looking at SPY, and if we see a 194.25 break on SPY, we could see a low set down in the 193 range. SPY, let's pull up the daily chart and I'll flip over so you can check it out with me. Definitely seeing this pattern still maintaining. That gap up the other day almost threw it off, but just consolidating range. You could draw a line up and a line down, pinching the price, and we are going to see a break of that eventually, keeping our eye on volume. But this 10-day moving average resistance rejection is what had me leaning bearish for today and we will be watching the low of 194.25 to see if we are going to come down and fill this space right here in between the previous higher low and where we are right now so there's a nice um, let's see we got 191.61 as the low so we could come all the way down to 192 and still be setting a nice higher high so definitely watching for a dollar or two downside at the very least if that's the way the market shapes up this morning we're gonna to have to sit on the sidelines for the first 10 minutes just to see the dust settle as the past few days on spy we have seen uh, a crazy first 15 minutes that does not indicate direction for the rest of the day here's the two-day chart you can see yesterday we had the crazy open nice bullish move and then rejected right back and then another very bullish breakout so definitely a lot of back and forth first thing in the morning and we're going to want to make sure that we can get a sense of direction before jumping into anything unless you are a risky gambler and that's fine too just have your stop losses set so we are now back above the 20 period moving average resistance and looking like we might come up to the 100 period 195.33 with three minutes left until the bell here Daily MACD is bullish on SPY, and that is actually what has me leaning towards. Let me get out of this chat window. It has me leaning towards a bullish break of this pattern when it does happen. That MACD alone. Otherwise, it's a 50 50 guess, but that bullish MACD has me leaning slightly bullish. GoPro support. That's a funny question. That word does not go with GoPro well right now. Um, support is at the low of the day from two days ago, which was 33.34. And pulling up the weekly to see if there's any support after that. I'm not sure there is. 33.34 is a key level for GoPro. I actually am going to take my pen as I sit here and write that down. GoPro 3334, key support. So a nice big spike in volume here for uh, SPY, seeing some bullish momentum right into the open. We are opening in seconds here and going to test these moving average resistances right away. So this is a, a big bullish volume spike here. Not something we usually see a minute 
before the open. We usually see the big volume spike with the open, but this is certainly interesting and we'll see how it plays out in the first 10 minutes here as we get ready for the bell. Lots of crazy action, 20 cent swing there in seconds on SPY, so looking for a high volatility here in the first 10 minutes. SPY just flipped up 20 cents and then back 30 cents. Rejected from the 100 period moving average resistance, trying to maintain 20 period moving average support. Mobilized down 1.3%. Lulu is up 1.2%, but pulling back and setting new low of days. Huge spread on eyes. 39 cents. That's massive. We'll see that tighten up shortly. Netflix down a percent. SUNY is setting new lows. 11.11. We're watching 11.04 and $11 even for support there. GoPro hit 33.50, so still above the 33.34 mark. Mobilize seeing some continued pullback. I believe the target was 41.80 for support on Mobileye. So we have a nice pattern here with pre-market that gives us um, a window as to what we're watching for support and resistances. Still sitting higher lows and we have that resistance up at 195.50. We hit 195.40 right there first thing this morning and now we're coming down. If we see a break of this low here, 194.73, it will indicate more downside to come. Facebook is only down 0.13%, so not seeing significant pullback here. High of day currently, we're going to see how it reacts to $92 resistance. So there's a new high of day for Facebook as we see SPY along a lower wick here as the bulls are buying it up. But still three minutes left to go in this candlestick, and we know how volatile the first 15 minutes are of the trading day. UWTI is down 7%, so oil is continuing to pull back. And you guys at 842. So Mobileye is recovering its gains and is now is at the high or its losses and now at the high of the day. Watching this 100 period moving average resistance of 4462. GoPro is also flashing green here. Let's see where that 200 period moving average resistance is, as that is the key one from yesterday, 34.01. So we're watching GoPro to get over $34. SPY is now seeing some recovery. SUNY is testing its low of day. We're watching $11 support there. Lots of volatility on Mobileye. SUNY coming up towards its high of day. We are looking at the 20 period moving average resistance of 11.25. We had a pre-market high of 
and then we have the 100 period at 1141. So 1125 is the first target. Here's eyes having a nice bullish day. Still a, a wide spread here, but currently up 3%. 985 was a recent high of day. So a break of that should indicate a $10 test. So a big red candlestick closed very bearish in that five minutes of the open for SPY. Currently setting a new low and we will be watching these lows from pre-market. I don't see a green Netflix, but it's entirely possible in the short term future. We have key resistance all the way up 99.20 and 99.26. Currently trying to turn those into support. We were rejected from it the previous five minute candlestick. We're watching volume comparatively, and the pre market high was 99.50. So definitely looking all right here for Netflix. Would like to see a back test of this support and for it to hold before I am a believer on the day. After that, we've got $100 psychological resistance and $100.85 was the high of yesterday, I believe. It might be $180. let us check the daily chart. $185. So looking very bullish here. Want to see that back test setting a high that is higher than the pre-market high. SUNY is also following suit here. 11.31. Good eye zen on Netflix. Continuing to run here. We're going to see a test of $100 fairly early it appears. Eyes broke 985, looking great for our swing play here. Want to see $10 break. Nice job, Ray. Let's see what Eyes middle Bollinger Band resistance is for today, as that is going to be tested, it appears. Middle Bollinger Band on Eyes is 10.05. That's actually from yesterday. It hasn't updated yet on my chart. So Netflix 99.75 high of day. SUNY is at its high of day. SPY looking like it is recovering from that rough first five minutes. Testing the 100 period moving average resistance again. And until we can turn that into support along with the 200 at 195.49. I'm going to hold off on the bearish call although some stocks are definitely seeing some bearish starts to their day. Netflix and SUNY most notably. GoPro is down, new low of day, not looking good for bullish confirmation here first thing in the morning. Watching 33.34, which it broke. So we've got a new low on this pullback for GoPro. GoPro almost down 2% now. We'll be watching $34 and the 200 period moving average resistance on the five minute chart. So Mobilize continuing its pullback almost down two and a half percent. New high of day for Netflix, looking very bullish. Coming up on $100 resistance. I is now a high of day of 990. Still fairly small volume there. Here's Netflix testing $100. There's the break. Good eye on Netflix Zen. 
Now looking at 185 as next resistance. Watching the RSI though as it is approaching overbought. Nice job, John. Let's see, SPY is still getting rejected from these 100 and 200 period moving average resistances. So Netflix is looking bullish to start, but that by no means is telling us it's going to be bullish on the day because we still have the high a day resistance from 185 and we still have SPY trying to turn these resistances into support. If SPY is able to turn these resistances into support, Netflix would be looking really good today. Coming up to a high of day test here for Netflix. And rejected right there, so we're going to keep our eye on this little battle going on and looking like we're pushing through right there. New high of day as we see SPY doing it as well. So definitely t trading hand in hand here for Netflix and SPY. SPY is now testing the 20, 200 period moving average resistance and testing the highs of pre-market. And Netflix is looking good to 185 cents. But again, Netflix is over getting overbought, so might be a p time to look into shirts if we see a move up to 185 and see some resistance there. Bearish reversal candlestick is forming here, but we have four minutes left to go, and that can easily be negated as this pattern is going to change. Facebook high of day 91.97, so definitely seeing some resistance up in the 92 level that's going to be a key level to turn into support here on the day for Facebook mobilize continuing to drop we're going to sit back and watch that one until we find support we're watching 4180 which was the low of the day on the market crash just want to double check these levels on the daily chart 4180 that is right let's write that one down Mobileye 4180 key support. Netflix coming down to test $100 support. A hold of this would be very bullish. SUNY coming back up towards its high of day. Looking like it is turning 20 period moving average into support after this back test here. That level is 1125. Resistance is 1140. SPY rejected from the 200 period moving average. We'll see how that plays out. Still three higher highs in a row on the candlesticks. Netflix down to $100 support again. Below it. So we'll see if Netflix is going to drop down and back test the 200 and 100 period strong support of 99.26. Uh, that's a tough call. Rajiv GoPro is definitely oversold and will bounce very soon. But as of right now, there is no support and we're waiting for a bottom to be found. The RSI is extremely oversold. It's looking like we have a target of $31, which is the IPO price. But, you know, the bounce is going to happen within a matter of an hour. Not that the bounce is going to happen and then be over, but the bounce signs will develop in an hour and it will be a very quick move. So, Selling down here while you uh, would 
definitely protect some capital. You might miss the bounce. Um, I don't know what your risk capital is or anything like that, risk tolerance, but definitely still need signs for GoPro before the bullish reversal is going to unfold here. We had the bullish reversal candlestick yesterday. We were looking for confirmation today, which would require a green candlestick, but instead we have lower lows coming in. We broke the low from two days ago of 33.34 and are desperately looking for support for GoPro, which it is not being found. The RSI on the five minute, mind you, is very oversold at 16. So we could see a short term bounce here, talking about like a, a 20 minute bounce. Let's see if 32.91 holds here. RSI is at under 15, so definitely due for a bounce. Here comes the test. And there is a new low, so definitely still getting smashed by the bears. Watch GoPro here, though, for a bounce on the five minute. Getting very oversold. I have no real targets to look for as support for this bounce, so we're going to have to watch for the patterns to develop on the five minute time frame. Netflix back above 100. Let's check in on win. Nice bullish start to the day. 100 period moving average resistance of 69.95. Broke above it, but was unable to maintain it as support and is currently fighting that level. 20 period moving average support of 69.55, pulling up the daily chart for win. Had the low yesterday of 68.11, so a nice higher low so far. And the key is going to be to turn this 100 period moving average resistance, let's just call it $70, turning that into support. Netflix looking good. It hit 185, a new high of day, and that is exactly the resistance level pointed out from the high of the day yesterday. We'll see if it's able to bust through that level. Spy still struggling with those resistances. 20 period moving average support of 195. Oh nine. GLD, this is a bullish reversal candlestick. This doji on the five minute, a green candlestick and a higher high is looking to confirm this reversal. Ideally, we'd see a nice bullish spike for it. RSI was oversold and is coming off that level. MACD is close to a bullish cross. Pulling up GLD on the daily time frame here. Mobile eye keeps dropping. We're going to be watching that one for 41.80 potentially this morning. Gold is looking for support after pulling back from the high of 112 on the daily chart. Today is a lower low. And looking like it is going to come down to 104.75 potentially is support. But this is a big pullback from that bounce. USO. Rejected from the 200 period moving average resistance of 1471. Testing support of the 20 period moving average of 1463. That's a key level to hold. Looking at the daily chart here. Steady downtrend rejected on the daily chart from the 50-day moving average resistance. We have support. Previous two days, the low was 14.45 and 14.47. The low of today is 14.55. So nice three higher lows right there if we can maintain this low. We have 15.02, 10-day moving average resistance, but it's all about the 200 period 14.71 and 100 period 14.81. Currently struggling and looking to hold the low of the day support of 1455. I want to pull up Mobileye here as we are getting oversold. 
RSI is dropping. I would ideally like to see it hit 4180 in the next 15 minutes. That would be a great sign of an oversold stock potentially finding support. GoPro RSI is now under 13. We had a low of 32.72. We'll see if we form a higher low on this candlestick, which would be the first time today that happens. The SPY is pulling back pretty considerably here. 20 period moving average is 195.08 and currently resistance. The low of the previous candlestick was 195.01, so a break of 195, and we should test the low of the day on SPY. Netflix is flirting back and forth with the $100 level. I'm going to keep GoPro on here as it is the most oversold stock we are watching, although Mobileye is now making a reversal. Not really convincing volume there yet, so let's let's stay on GoPro here and watch the four period exponential moving average resistance. SCO. Nice bounce off 200 period moving average support, turning the 20 period moving average support of $90 into support, as I said. And we had the high a day up here at 90.81. So a nice hold of support of the 20 period and 200 period on SCO. PCLN. 1280 is support on PCLN. We have tested it. We're now testing it a second time today. And we have resistance at 1284, 1286. Let me look at the daily chart. Um, PCLN is in a pretty defined range here. I can't really suggest it to be a buy because I would only be confident in it moving $20 in either direction, which isn't very much on a $1,200 stock. Definitely tightening range. Key support of 1275. If that breaks, it would be bearish. And otherwise, looking to hold 1280 and potentially make a move back to 1300. The high of the day yesterday was 1294. So I would make a bearish call with a break of 1275. And other than that, I would watch it on these all these moving average resistances on the five minute chart. AD is accumulation and distribution. It's an indicator that can be used. Sometimes you can spot bullish divergences where if you have a stock price declining and the accumulation line going up, that is what we call a bullish divergence and something to take into note. Play around with the accumulation distribution line uh, on your charts and see if you like it. So PCLN now is going to look, look like it's gonna test 1275 support. We'll see if it is able to pass that test. Netflix maintaining 100 for now, looking good. Although those are some... is 62.53. Four days in a row now of lower highs for BABA. GoPro continuing to drop, getting very oversold here. RSI is now down under 11. 
going to see a nice bounce here eventually. Staying on the sideline, having tight stop losses, and trying to time this here. Don't want to catch the following knife, obviously, so we will wait for a bullish sign to develop. We have the pattern of lower highs and lower lows and rejections from the four-period exponential moving average. So we will look for a break of this pattern. SUNY heading up towards its high of day. GoPro currently has a higher low, so we are watching that. Also be watching for convincing volume here. Not seeing it on this candlestick yet. Eyes has a pretty big wall of resistance at 975. We'll see if the bulls can eat through that. SUNY back to 1130 test. Netflix looks to be fixing some of those upper wicks on the candles here. Heading back up in the $100 range, looking like it's able to maintain that support. So Mobileye hit 81 cents above our target for the low of 41.80. We will see if that's where it's going to turn things around or if there's more downside to come. Struggling with the 20 period moving average resistance right now of by now is testing 195 support could see a low day test here for spy if that level breaks GoPro coming down to test the low of the day again you can see where it got rejected right up the four period exponential moving average common pattern here we have 25 minutes of red to open Currently testing the double bottom right now. Just passed that test, but not out of the woods yet. Here's another test. And there is a break. Where are the bulls on GoPro? They are nowhere to be found. RSI is now under 10. Will be a nice bounce here when it happens. There really is, is no support to be found here on GoPro. Let me look back on the weekly chart to multiple year time frame. In the IPO week, we went from the open at 24 all the way up to 40. RSI is now getting oversold on the weekly, very oversold on the daily, and very oversold on the five minute chart. Under nine now on the RSI. Oh, it'll happen within the next 20 minutes. Not sure how much of a bounce it'll be, but this RSI is definitely not sustainable. High volume, lower wick we're watching for. We have one minute left for this candlestick. Yeah, AMBA is just a, a poor tag along here with. So we got SPY following through support. Looking bearish now. 
break of the low of the day. Support back here, the highest low pre-market was 194.73. Broke that level. Next support is the previous low before that of 194.60. Netflix is now dropping with SPY. GoPro coming down to test its low of 32.30. I'm going to keep up GoPro mostly because there is some opportunity here eventually. Lower highs and lower lows. Very clear downtrend. SPY now testing its low of day. There's a new low coming down to 194.60 is next support level. Just broke that level so now SPY we have a new low that we're going to be looking at. And that is all the way down here at the lowest it traded pre-market was 194.54. Broke that level by a penny, so now we have 194.25, the low from yesterday. Four minutes left in this candlestick here for GoPro. Looking like we might come down and test 32.30 low again. Watching Mobileye for a double bottom test, 4261 support. So watching this four period exponential moving average on GoPro, that's going to be key. Current level is 32.74, but it changes very rapidly in relation to the price. Watching Mobileye for 42.61, heading down that way. Resistance on SPY is going to be the 20 period moving average on the five minute chart, which is 195.02. Let's call it 195 even. So looking to set the first higher low here for GoPro of the day. So that would be the first signal of a potential bullish reversal. But the candle has not formed yet. We still need two more minutes to go before that happens. Decent volume on this candlestick. This would be a bullish reversal candlestick here if it sets this way in the next minute and a half and we would wait for confirmation on the next candlestick. If it was green and we set a higher high, it would be the bullish reversal confirmation. So GoPro is the play, I'm sticking on it because it's the most opportunity I see here this morning. Just due to its very oversold RSI. And this is the kind of play we saw members yesterday getting in GoPro, trying to time the bounce very riskily, that's a new word, riskily before um, seeing confirmation of a bullish reversal. and 
just having their stop loss at break even to protect them. Nothing wrong with that. Worst case scenario, you go even. Best case scenario, you nail the bounce perfectly. AMBA support is its low of day because it is trading under all pullback prices of this recent drop. So look for the low of day to be support. We see GoPro is seeing a little bit of a bounce here. We'll see if there's some follow through on it. Nice volume on this bullish reversal candlestick. Currently pulling back, we had a high here of 32.60 and a high on the next candlestick of 32.58. So did not set a higher high. Still trying to maintain this higher low. The low of the previous candlestick is 32.35. Watch for a break of 32.60 here to signal a potential bullish reversal. Here comes Mobileye down to test its low of 42.61. We'll see if we can get a double bottom support there. SUNY coming down to test its low of day of 11.09. GoPro seems to be flattening out a little bit here. low of 32.35 need to hold that level on this candlestick for a bullish reversal confirmation to potentially happen here and there is the break so we're gonna wait watch the low of the day of 32.30 see if we can get a double bottom Mobileye just set a new low of day so no double bottom there looking at 41.80 on Mobileye GoPro testing the low of the day here. There's a nice big bid at 32.37, which quickly drove the price up. So a potential double bottom, we have 32.30 and 32.32 with 32.37 big bid that drove the price up fairly quickly. Nice big long lower wick forming showing Bulls buying the dip off of that big support that showed up. So definitely a sign of a bullish reversal here. This lower wick and the big bid that showed up and the reaction to that big bid showing up. There's SPY's low of day, 194.25 is the support we are watching for. Two minutes still left to go in this candlestick. If SPY could find support and make a bullish move here, it would certainly help GoPro's cause. Seeing some bullish reversal candlesticks here on SPY. Resistance of the 20 period moving average at 195. Thirty-two thirty-seven is where the big bid was on GoPro. Let's see if it can maintain that level. And Mobileye continuing to drop. We are now 50 cents from our target. The low of the day is. GoPro is getting interesting here. Almost expect another big bid to show up and drive the price higher still. It 
seeing that nice lower wick one minute left to go in the candlestick 3250 was just resistance there we'll see how it reacts to that again and 3237 is support and I say that level just because of the big bid that showed up there and walked the price up fairly quickly There's a new low of day for Mobileye, still heading down towards our target. Spy seeing a little bit of a bounce off of its low. 195 is the key resistance to get back over for Spy. So there's the 3237 big bid on GoPro. Let's see if it can hold. Holding well so far. And we'll watch now for a break of 3250, which would be a bullish sign. Mobileye is now 35 cents away from our target. Here's the test of 3250 resistance. Just failed it, but not over yet. Need to see the bids walk up a little bit here. RSI is still at 18. Very slow developing bottom here. If it is a bottom, that is. Definitely looks like there's support down here in the low 32s. There's a 3250 break. Yes, RSI on GoPro is very oversold on the daily chart and the five minute chart. Still watching this four period exponential moving average, this red line. Currently 3257. Three minutes left in this candlestick, watching volume. So some big bids showing up for GoPro. Here's, a, here's the bounce we're looking for. There's the higher high. Keep your, top, wow. Keep your stop losses tight if you are playing this GoPro bounce SUNY there's nothing to see very tight range compared to what we've seen the past few days low of 11.09 and then a higher low of 11.10 20 period moving average resistance of 11.23 needs to be turned into support and then there's 11.36 resistance right after that here's some more follow through on GoPro 32.50 bullish break was a good sign and let's see if we can see some continued follow through here. A close above the four period exponential moving average of 32.61 would be ideal. We've got two minutes left in this candlestick. We're going to see an increase in volume. MACD here is approaching a bullish cross. One minute in this candlestick, need to see a close above 3260 to make the bulls happy. Looking like we're not going to see it. This candlestick, the four period exponential moving average is 3258. 
It changes so much because it is so reactive to the price. Um, I couldn't say. Let's see what the volume is like on GoPro options. There's some nice volume there. There are some wide uh, bid and ask spreads. It all depends on how much money you have in the trade. If you can buy a thousand shares of GoPro, it's certainly better to play the common stock. If you only have enough to buy a hundred shares of GoPro, it might be better to play the options. So could not close above the four period exponential moving average resistance. Again, definitely key to watch. We're going to see another attempt here. This candlestick, a break of the high of 32.69 would be very bullish. And we are watching volume as the RSI is now approaching, coming off the oversold level, but still at 24. Still have these higher li higher lows setting in. SUNY set a new low of day and is testing eleven dollars support. If we see eleven break, we could see ten sixty, ten sixty five. There's a big ask at eleven oh five right there. That should drive the price through $11 support. And if it doesn't, that is a bullish sign. Here's the bid building at 11.04. So definitely seeing a little bit of a battle here between the bulls and the bears right now on SUNY. It did break it. So that's a bullish sign for SUNY right there. GoPro back in the 3260s, looking to get to 3270s here. Mobileye coming down to test its low of day of 4210. So this double top on Netflix is very bearish. If that cannot break, that being the high of day of 185 two days in a row, is definitely strong resistance. Best of luck with your trade, Soren. By all means, have a stop loss set. GoPro, right now, what we're doing is called catching a falling knife. We are waiting for signs of the bullish reversal on the five minute chart, but as far as the daily chart is concerned, this is still a falling knife. Eating away slowly at the 3260s. Personally, I would have my stop loss at 32.29 just because the low of the day and support is 32.30. So if you're going to put it at 32.31, it would be entirely possible for it to come down and hit that level and then bounce up again. And that would be strong double bottom support. Whereas if it broke 32.30 and then hit your stop loss at 32.29, that's a break of the low of the day and a break of the support. But just my opinion, it's only a two cent difference, so it shouldn't be very significant either way. GoPro looking good here, minute and a half left to go, looking for a higher high, getting into the 3270s, very bullish move here. Well, I won't say comparatively very bullish and what we are looking for on this bounce. Resistance now is 33.21 of the 20 period moving average resistance that's coming down. And we're also watching the eight period exponential moving average of 32.73. We want to see a close above that level. One minute left to go or less. SPY is back over 195. That is a bullish development. We will look for it to hold right now.
Yeah, Soren, that's close enough. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get you selling fairly soon at a profit. At about thirty-two ninety-nine is maybe where I would put it. But I, again, I have no idea how much you risked or if that would even be worth locking in that much profit. It's very uh, a personal per trade basis. I would choose thirty-two ninety-nine just because the twenty period moving average resistance is slowly coming down, or not even slowly. It's fairly quickly coming down. Currently thirty-three sixteen. And thirty-three dollars is going to be a, a psychological level as well. Also, watching for these higher low patterns to continue. If we were to see a break below thirty-two forty-eight, it would be bearish. SUNY is still in the low elevens, looking to hold that eleven dollars support. And SPY is seeing now some fairly bullish confirmation above the twenty period moving average, and it is now all about the one hundred period of one ninety-five twenty-four. So the low pre-market of SPY was 194.54, and that's rebounced one cent lower than that, but that is enough for me to call it double bottom there. Very key support to hold through the day here. Currently testing the 100 period moving average, but one thing we are noticing, what do you see here on the five minute chart for SPY on this bounce? What should stand out to you the most? Nice uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, everything looks good, but wait, what's wrong here? Volume. Decreasing volume, not a good sign for the bulls. I don't use the three minute chart, Soren. You're gonna have to tell me. Five minute chart is close to a bullish cross, so I assume it is crossing on the three minute chart. Welcome, John. Let's look at it again because it very often, if you see a price on a bounce coming up to a key resistance and is losing steam, imagine a car driving and it's you're getting to a roadblock that you need to bust through, and this is your speed right here, and your speed is decreasing. It is going to be a lot harder to get through that roadblock, whereas if this were increasing volume, increasing speed, you would bust right through the roadblock. So SUNY broke $11. We are now coming down. Next target is 1060. You can see how quickly the $11 break dropped 11 cents off the price in seconds. That's because many stop losses were triggered. I do not advocate speeding through roadblocks. All right, let's watch GoPro here as we are seeing a little bit of pullback. A break of 32.48 would be a lower low and a bearish sign here. Two minutes left to go in this candlestick, so not a ton of bearish volume. Could just be some consolidation before a higher move up. Netflix is dropping after a bullish start to the morning through key support. So looking like if we are unable to maintain this support within the next two minutes, we are coming down to the low of the day for Netflix. And again, that double top at the exact same level of 185 yesterday and today is bearish and very strong resistance. These upper wicks tell the story.
Um, that's feasible, John. But with market makers who are controlling the bid and the ask, they are going to stay pretty in line with the inverse relation to SPY. SPY is picking up volume. That is a good observation. Although with the little upper wick here, it could be bearish volume. Still setting higher lows. Did see a little break in that pattern right here, but maintaining it. If we were to see an increase in volume again on SPY, this next candlestick, it would be a, a bullish sign. That would be the equivalent of reaching right at the roadblock, slamming on the accelerator, and picking up speed. SUNY is absolutely bearish with the $11 support being lost. GoPro is bouncing around here at 3250s and 60s, looking to get back to the 3270s and continue this move up to 33. If we see a break of 3250, I would be very cautious. And in fact, I'd set my stop loss at break even right now. If you are in GoPro, not seeing the kind of momentum behind the bounce we would like. Trade is by all means not over, but might as well set it at break even as no one wants to lose money on a trade. Here comes Mobileye coming down to test its low of day. Not very oversold there, so we'll see if it's able to hold it or if it's going to break through that support. Let's see how soon he does on this back test of $11 resistance. And back over 11, let's see if it can hold it now. Spy is still struggling with this 100 period moving average resistance. Three minutes left to go in the candlestick. That level is 195.23. GoPro needs to get through 32.55 here. I sure is fighting. Looking like we're going to see an increase in volume. 955,000 compared to 720,000 with two minutes left to go. You can think of everything as a percentage. We're looking at five minute candlesticks here. Three minutes of the candlestick has gone by, so that means we have two minutes left. That is 40% of the time of the candle is still left to go, and we are still well above 40 percent in terms of comparative volume to the previous candlestick if that made any sense I'm sure that sounded a little confusing I'm trying to figure a way to explain that better currently getting rejected but the volume is going to see an increase here So SUNY just lost $11 support again. Looking like a failed back test of that resistance. 11.18 is the 20 period moving average resistance. Here's SPY pulling back from the failed test. Bit is $32 support. Looking at the daily chart for any other support. Next support below 32 is 
Yep, GoPro fake out, not much there. But we saw the bullish reversal signs. We saw the flattening price. Anybody that got in should have been able to set their stop loss at break even. And it's an absolutely no risk trade at that point. You have all the reward in the world of timing the bottom and the risk of zero dollars. Netflix definitely looking weak. Failed back test of this resistance and continuing to pull back. SPY is now down below 195, so that is a solid rejection from the 100 period moving average resistance. SUNY hit a low of 1085 now, still heading down. Mobilize still is holding its low from earlier in the day, 4210. I am going to sign off here and continue in the chat room. And I'll leave this up with the audio off. We are going to be watching GoPro for a potential double bottom at 3230 here. Mobileye to hold its 4210 support. Watching SPY around the 195 level and SUNY around the $11 level. And by all means, if you have other tickers you want looked at, speak up. So thanks for tuning in this morning. We'll be back this afternoon. It's a Friday, so things might be a little bit slower, but certainly still opportunity to be had there. So far, the SUNY put is looking like it's going to be a nice play on the $11 support break. After $11, we pointed out 1060 is the next level, so $0.40 cents on an $11 stock is a nice 3.5% drop. We'll see if we see some follow-through on that. And thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of your morning.